I'm not sure who decided that Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon needed to go the way that it's going. But they need the ass kicked. Okay? I'm talking like a thorough... They need to have shoelaces with shit stains on them. Somebody need their ass kicked. Shane McMahon and Braun Strowman continue to be some of the worst shit they've put on television. Because there is no reason for this. This is the brains versus Braun. Why? Why is any of this happening? The brains versus Braun. This is stupid. It's stupid. It's all stupid. Okay. So, um, I'm, I'm obligated to go through this because I watched the show. So, Braun Strowman wants to know what the hell's going on by, with Shane. I've been bullied my whole life by guys like you because I didn't grow up in no mansion. And Shane's like, I'll never make fun of another man. I'll never make fun of him. You're scared because you, I know you want to fight me. I'll fight you right now. Then Shane starts going off of how he's stupid and saying that his brain is like a flat line. And then said, okay, well, you don't want none of this. And But if you want to fight me, I'll fight you tonight. Okay. Um, all right. So this match, which everybody thought was going to be a WrestleMania match, is not only not going to take place at WrestleMania, apparently. They were going to have that match tonight on the show. Just randomly impromptu made in the middle of the goddamn show. So they, they, they come out there. Shane McMahon comes out there. Braun Strowman comes out there. Shane starts going outside and he starts to work out. He's trying to warm up. He's doing push-ups. He's skipping around. He's got a hopscotch game out there. And he's talking about how the hopscotch game can teach Braun how to count. And, and Braun is just like, what is going on with this guy? And he gets outside the ring, of course, because he's everybody who's above like six feet in WWE is a big is a big bull. They just run at people all the time. Lashley was doing it. Nia Jax does it. Now Braun Strowman does it. They just go Rah! and they just start running running at people because that's how they think big people behave. They just run at you, head and shoulders first. They just come running at you all the time. What the fuck? In any event, Shane comes out. Shane runs around the ring, obviously, catches Braun. Braun starts to kick Shane's ass. And then, you know, Braun's going to do his running around the ring and uh, train knock you over thing. He comes to running. Shane McMahon hits him in the head with the camera. I thought, okay, now that's actually cool. That was actually cool. It's a nice little, nice little trick. That, you know, he's coming charging because this is what now it makes sense in this kind of, in this um, situation because Braun does go run around the ring and bowl people over. That's kind of one of his things. So in this situation, it looks like that's what he's about to do. But Shane just tackle grabs the camera from one of the cameramen and boom, uses the camera. Then he boom, uses the camera again. Lines Shane lands up Strowman up on the on the table. Flying elbow drop, of course, from the top rope through the table, giving away, of course, the big spot. And then Shane McMahon goes under the ring where there's two buckets of Nickelodeon slime and then pours the slime all over Braun Strowman. Bro, what the fuck is this? Somebody has to explain this shit to me. It's not even... I saw a lot of people who think that they're, they're, they're smart, right? They're like, what purpose would it serve to have buckets of slime under the ring? Okay, good question. Why was the hot scotch thing out there? Somebody explain that to me? Why was the hot scotch thing out there? And I would imagine the hot scotch thing was out there for the same reason that there was slime under the ring. That this was some plan by Shane McMahon. Right, that it was a elongated plan by Shane McMahon that he was gonna, and maybe, and of course he could say he planted the cameraman, so, so he can get the weapon and stuff like that. I mean, he's a McMahon. We can we can buy that Shane can have things set up in his, in the way that he wants them. Okay. Now I don't know why he needed to be slimed. I, I get it. You're trying to embarrass him. All right, you're trying to now, now they've set up this match one on one Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon at, at Fastlane. 
Now, that, now they said, oh, it's going to happen, but it didn't happen on Raw. It's going to happen at Fastlane. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't. Why? 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 Why are they fighting? What are they fighting for? What are they fighting for? They have yet to say what the fuck they're fighting for. They just keep talking about Braun is stupid. Why does Shane McMahon all of a sudden think Braun Strowman is stupid? Just out of nowhere. And why him? He ain't the only stupid motherfucker on the roster. Our truth is stupid. Drew Gulak is stupid. People who will keep chasing our truth around for the 24 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them, they all fucking stupid. Why is Braun Strowman being singled out as being the only stupid guy on the roster? Why does his stupidity bother Shane McMahon so much? What the fuck is going on? And why is it going on? Furthermore, Shane McMahon took down Braun Strowman by himself. So, the idea that he may need help, probably not. He took him down by himself. By hitting him in the head with a camera three times. And an elbow dropped through the table. And then he covered him in slime. He bitched him out. Braun Strowman is supposed to be the monster among men. This was a guy who was turning over the ambulances and all this type of shit. Trying to rip uh, Roman Reigns' arms off his shoulders. And now Shane McMahon is knocking him around like a goddamn pinball. What the entire flying flippity do fuck. That makes zero sense. And <laughs> zero. Zero. It made no sense. But I mean, what can you what can, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, bro. I'm at a loss for words. This continues to be the worst thing on the show. It continues to be the worst thing on the show. This was dog shit. I don't understand this. Because how can I get involved in this if you won't tell me what the fuck it's about? Why I can't know what it's about? Is, is anybody going to tell me what the fuck they're fighting for? Do I have to come up with something on my own? Do I have to finish the story myself? Because I would like to know why they're fighting before they're fighting. Because at least if I know why, it would make sense. Why does Shane McMahon insist on humiliating Braun Strowman? Week after week, humiliating him. Not beating him in a match. Just making him look dumb every week. Why? And making himself look bad also. Because he looks like shit too. Hell, he looks more like shit than Strowman does because he can't remember his lines and he's, okay, okay, Braun, okay, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. And beep, you know, brains versus Braun. They need to, whoever wrote this, shit on shoelaces, man. That's what we need. We need shit on shoelaces. Somebody need their ass beat. This is stupid. It continues to be stupid. And the, I'm okay with the sliming. I'm okay with, you know, the mocking. I just want to know why. Why is this happening? All right. Now, wrestling is all about people pouring shit on each other. Well, I don't know, understand, like, why people get so upset about that. Like, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, the slime and dog food and stuff like that. People are like, they're always pouring things on people. It's like, so what? That's kind of, it's always been, like, wrestling thing. I got, like I used to tell people all the time, man, guys used to get covered in yellow paint. Guys used to get, you know, tarred and feathered. It's part of the business. They just, you know, kiddifying it with the green, the, the neon green paint. But there have been guys that have been covered in paint before. You know, they used to do that stuff all the time. I remember um, uh, Jeff Hardy did it with, like, John Morrison covered his coat in paint. Um, of course, you have the, the John Bradshaw Layfield when he got his the yellow streak paint painted down his back. But that's also was something that came from uh, Butch reading the Junkyard Dog. He beat him down, painted his back, with, with, painted the yellow streak down his back, you know, tarred and feathering him, all that kind of stuff, man. So guys getting covered in shit and humiliated like this, 
not out of the ordinary for a wrestling business. It happens quite a bit. Sometimes, I mean, one of the hypest things people used to really love about the Attitude Era was the bloodbath from the brood, right? The lights would go out and or like red blood would just fly from the ceiling, just all over the guy. And yeah, sometimes this shit is a little bit cringy. You know, when they used to do the whole dookie from the ceiling shit, uh, you know, they did it to the McMahons and they, you know, had uh, Karango with the milk and the beer and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes it gets kind of cringe. And I, I agree that the slime is a little bit of cringe. But people who get really, really upset about it, it's like, are you serious? So what? That That's not even the part that I, I'm even concerned about. What's the slime doing under the ring? It's like, he put it there. What the f- <laughs> We're not, we never said this was impromptu. You know, he, he put it under the ring. The guy's a McMahon, he's the boss. He can put whatever you want at ringside. Okay. But this is, but this is still stupid. Even if you don't want to buy it, it's still stupid because there's no reason for it. And then who the fuck wants to see Shane McMahon versus Braun Strowman? Who the fuck wants to see that? This is dumb. This is all the way dumb. And it's embarrassing. All right. Uh, let's, go, let's stop that right here. Like this video. Uh, hit the thumbs up, please. Share this video. Uh, spread it around. Uh, use the hashtag 3 count commentaries to support the channel. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. If you want to send an email, send it to Mr. Slade, M-R-S-L-A-D-E, 84, at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at mongoslade 8 M-O-N-G-O-S-L-A-D-E 8, the number 8. Um, on Twitter, uh, you can send cash via the Cash App, which will be in the comment section below. Uh, and if you want to um, support the channel, I would appreciate that. Uh, thank you guys for your time, and I'll talk to you guys later.